Do you know what is an alt text? And do you know how to make a good alt text and better? Do you know that your Behance portfolio can be more accessible? Yeah, it can. And if you keep with me at the end, to the end of the video, I gotta show you all of that and how to make your Behance portfolio more accessible. This project was selected to receive the Adobe Creative Residence Community Fund. And in this video, I gotta tell you what is an alt text, why this is important, I gotta show you how to use it. And by the end of the video, I gotta show you how to create and how to make your Behance portfolio more accessible. So keep with me and let's go to computer. And in order to show you what is an alt text, here is the Google website. And I gotta inspect the page like Ctrl Shift I. And if I click in Google, in Google brand, you gotta see that it have this alt text here and it says Google. But what it means? It means that if the Google image doesn't load, this text will appear instead like this Google text will appear. But better, this Google text, it's very important for accessible reasons and also for SEO. And as you can see in other websites, like for example, this is my website. And if I inspect here either, you see that it has, the image has this alt text, Adobe Active Creative Challenge June 2020. If this, this alt text wasn't here, the screen readers wouldn't be allowed to know what is in my website. And this is very important. But if I don't put any text here, it won't have alt text. This one I had put manually, but in this image, I don't have any alt text. And in Behance, they put just a, a random alt text in your image. So if you don't update it, every image will seem like we'll have just a weird alt text and this won't be accessible and it will be also harder for search engines to find your website. But how can we create this alt text? How can we put this into our image? Well, designers not always have access to the alt text. Normally a developer that put it into your tags but if you use like a uh, Adobe portfolio, WordPress or anything similar to have your portfolio on web, then you can insert a different alt text. For example, in Behance website, they allow you to insert any alt text that you want, but I gotta show you how to do that later because right now I gotta show you how to insert the alt text in the code. And here I have just opened my Behance portfolio I'm already logged in, so if you are not just logging into our account, and it's pretty easy actually. You can come to any of your projects, the one you wanna add an alt text for each image, and then you go to this engine and you come to edit. Once you click on it, this will open your project, and here is where the magic happens. If you came to any image and you see this add tags, and you press in it, you see that it has the text and then you have the text out text. And here you can add anything that you just show to the browser and to the search engines and for everyone who have any kind of visual disabilities or for anyone who needs a screen reader in order to access any website. So this is why this is important. For example, here I have the Gene app colors and gene image, for example. You can provide better alt text and the, the best thing is that it doesn't be so long that no one will read. It must provide enough content in order for the person who is just hearing your image can understand what is there. So this way, it will be easier for the screen readers to read the entire page, the entire page. So this way you can just put it here and maybe you can add it to other of your image, for example, here, like for example, I can put like music 
music app prototype with animations and colors. And now, after I have added the alt text to all the images that I want, I can just press here to update my project. And now it's updating. And when it's done, you can come back to our Brains portfolio. And now, if I came in here and Control Shift I to inspect and press here, when I went to the image, you check that now it has an alt text. Now this image is much more accessible for everyone. So make sure that your Behance portfolio is accessible, that everybody can understand what is there and can have the same rights to access the content. And also it's very, very important for you to be in touch with any developer who will create a website for you and all this kind of a kind of stuff because if you are developing a website this is not just a designing work it's a team work and you must provide the context that the developer will need in order to provide a good website some developers they already add an alt text this is a good practice when you are uh, developing a front-end website but if they don't you can help them. You can say, hey, why don't you use an alt text? Now that you know how to inspect the image, like Ctrl Shift I in Google, if you check that it's lacking an alt text, then you can tell your developer, hey, why don't you add an alt text? This is important because the search engines will find us easily and better. This is important because I want to make sure that everybody can access the image that I have made. And it's important for us designers to know that the image that we make this is not just for us or for everyone who is seeing it, because there are people who can't see. And these people, they have the same rights that we have to access our images, our content, and everything that we create. So if you like the content, if you liked my bad English skills, <laughs> and if you are adding an alt text to your Behance, please leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, please keep following the project because I'm pretty glad developing it. So make sure to keep following, keep a long like, subscribe and everything else. <laughs> and thank you so much.